talking to someone about something they like and enjoy like yeah. they pass, like, yeah, you just get a lot of <laughs> Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of The Contemporary Entrepreneur. I'm your host, Nia Ray, and I'm here with Love from Love's Room from YouTube. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. You look really nice. Thank you. <laughs> really nice. Thank you. So let's just talk about your YouTube channel, Love's Room. So mm-hmm. tell me a bit about that and what it consists of. Okay, so Love's Room, obviously, the name is obviously copied from, from my own name. Yeah. My name is actually Love, and um, Love's Room is basically my space. So every time I will upload a video on YouTube or I'm doing something regarding Love's Room, yeah. it's everyone in my room. Like, even at home, everything goes down in your room, you sleep, you talk on the phone, yeah. you get dressed up in your room. and Yeah, it's about just everything going on in the room yeah. and just inviting people to my personal space. Yeah, okay, mm-hmm. it's really good. So, um, the next question I was going to ask you, how do people come back to your channel and how do people stay in touch with you? And I also wanted to say, um, each video you have a different background mm-hmm. and I really like that and it's so different. <laughs> That's what I really like to do it. And then one of your videos, you must have said that, oh yeah, when you come, you need different backgrounds, mm-hmm. you need different videos. And I think it's really inspiring. Mm-hmm. Awesome. So yeah, how do you make people come back to watch you? That's one of the points. Um, and... Um, I feel like it's to do with my personality. Yeah. Ever since I was younger, I've always been very bubbly, very, I don't know, there's always been something to me that I can't really put a finger to it because I'm yeah. so grown to know myself, but I've always been very bubbly and I feel like it's just my personality, my character, who I am, most cases, my name, yeah. some cases, my face, yeah. I don't, yeah, just a whole mm. thing put together and just the way I do my YouTube. Yeah, it's really different. So in terms of when you're filming and editing it, do you um, film and edit yourself? Because I can see that it's really, it's edited really, really good. Thank you. <laughs> so, uh, tell me, talk to me about the process of filming and editing that. Okay, yeah. so I have a Love's Room team. Um, oh. Shout out to Pete and got a whole team. A like, team, girl. girl. A team. Well. <laughs> so I've got a Love's Room team, so shout out to Pete and Visuals. And I've got um, another team member, her name is Benzo, she's a tailor, she's also a stylist as well, so she does the whole she writing, so we've all come together and they help me out. So PM Visuals, he edits most of my videos and then I will do like one or two vlogs Mm -hmm. or whatever else I just want to add to my channel, but yeah, he's my editor. And then you have um, Benzo there, she helps me with my clothes, my makeup, even with the editing. Like she's just she's correcting where I can't see. Yeah. yeah and yeah, she yeah. corrects even where I can see, she's just like, no, you've got to do it like this yeah, and stuff yeah, like yeah. that. So them two are perfect people. So you've come yeah. together and then you've created this amazing channel. Yeah. Okay, so I know that you do some makeup tutorials on your channel, but what else does your um, channel consist of? So when I actually started YouTube, I was just gonna put it on just based on makeup. Yeah. But I came to realize what a room actually is. So I wanted to do vlogs and talks and give out tips and do advice and just take people on holiday with me. Mm -hmm. Um, I like to cook, so bring them into my kitchen and just, yes, I I just didn't want to base it on makeup. I wanted to take it, yeah, do other things as well. You're doing really, really well. Mm -hmm. We enjoy your videos. Thank you. Thank you. Off in a different direction. Mm-hmm. You have a new lash line. Yeah. I can just see your lashes flowing right now. Look at the new lash line. What's the name of it and how did the inspiration come about to actually start the business? Oh, um, okay. My lashes are very out there. As everyone can, everyone knows I'm obsessed with my lashes. Mm. So, I'm obsessed with lashes. They're everything to me. Mm. I feel like if everything was meant, like let's say for example I was in the house, the house burnt down, if my lashes got burnt, I would, oh. be, I would cry for my lashes more than anything else. I like, really love your lashes. Well, no, I feel like lashes complete a look. It's, it's just, people, it's, it's the best thing. Don't wear makeup. You have to look at the lashes. Just, yeah, you have to. Yeah. You really do. So, um, so, obviously you're taking something that you love and putting it out there sharing it with the world. Lashes are a big, beauty actually is a big thing now. Mm-hmm. So I was just like, you know what, I'm gonna start my lash line. Um, 
I was procrastinating a lot, but I said, 2020, I'm coming out with you. Mm. So I've got like 20 styles, they're still in the making, still coming out. Yeah. But so far, um, my Instagram on Love's Beauty Room, that's where like, I sell my lashes. I post up makeup and mm. all the makeup so I do for clients as well. I sell them on there. Oh, yeah. so you're anywhere as well? Yeah. Okay, if you are anywhere, cook, vlog on the that. Whole, the whole shebang. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, talk to me about the lashes you're wearing now, what are they called? These ones are called Sta. Sta, yeah, because they're very Sta. Like, they're okay. very, you know, Sta, like, like, out there. Out there. Yeah. Okay. I have another pair, which is called I Left Him. Um, that one, I, I named it I left him because that I, fa I literally found them lashes after I came out of my relationship. Those lashes took me to another level. Really? I promise you. Yeah, you put the lashes on, you're like, yeah, I'm yeah like, that's I'm it. Good. So, and then I have another one called Kinika, called Honey, called Gloria, No Longer Tapped, Joel, Seven. Yeah, There's so many. Yeah. Really Marilyn's is one of the best men you look at. Oh, She's nice. Yeah. 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 And um, Nikita Johnson. Do you know what? I'm not I don't really watch a lot of Londoners. I oh, really? Really so you're mostly American? Mostly Americans, yeah. yeah. Mostly Americans. Yeah. Yeah. Most American. With American YouTubers, I kind of see a difference from YouTubers from London. Yeah, yeah. yeah. What's the difference? What do you see as different? If I say when I get in trouble. <laughs> I'll be honest sometimes, you know? Um, I like the way, reasons why I even stepped out with mine, this is not the main reason, but one of the reasons mm. why I stepped out with my YouTube because Americans, they do things and they don't care. Mm. They will do, even if it's just spilling tea, they will do it mm. with the biggest confidence ever. I feel like with them, in, from the UK, mm -hmm. they're creative, but with Americans, they're creative. Yeah, they're like, like, yeah. On another level, creative. They're it's very, very they're different. gone. So like, I mean, like, I've always felt. I mean, there's hate in in America, mm -hmm. but sometimes I feel like when you do YouTube in London, no one really supports you. Like, if they're supporting one person, only one person. But in America, like I watched DDG and Kennedy, right? Mm -hmm. And there, they have like a big group of people that they hang around. And even when they're filming their videos, you will see there could be 20, 20 of them and all of them are holding the camera. Mm. Let that be in London. Someone's got to fight. Someone's got to hate you. Something's got to mm. go down. So I was just like, that's when I didn't really watch too much London. So I just, if I watch a London YouTuber, they either do beauty and just, yeah, the thing that I like really have passion. Okay. In terms of American YouTubers, who's your favourite? Who do you feel like collaborating with? So many. Oh, who do you love to collab with? No, actually, this year. I know, I know, I know. Okay. Um, I've always actually, I love Aaliyah J. She's she is. She's come from literally nothing. Nothing to something. Honestly, she's yeah. Doing so great. I love Aaliyah J. Yeah. Kennedy, simply Kennedy. Mm -hmm. Um, in terms of beauty, Taylor May Jane. Dollface lyric. I I know them off by heart. Like you know all of them. I love them. Mm -hmm. Um, Kiki Adams, that's amazing. Beauty by Melissa. In terms of beauty, when it comes to fashion, and fashion is more so on Instagram. They don't do YouTube. They, yeah, yeah, yeah. Post yeah, they post on Instagram. Well. So, fashion. Marius is one because I love her like that, like fashion as well. But there's a lot of American like. Yeah, it's just a Oh, you've named a lot, you know, watch back and mm -hmm. watch some of these YouTubers. Me too. But in terms of YouTube, that is a big market and there's so many girls out on it, even guys, mm. it's, it's a big thing. Mm. Like, so are you worried that you won't get to where you want to go or that you're cool, that you know that you're going to get there? Like, what's your vision of YouTube? I know that I'm going to get there first. Yeah. <laughs> That's because I do these. Honey, 2020, mm. there's no fail. I don't know what fail is, honestly. Yeah, I don't even have to spell it, honestly. Oh, okay. <laughs> but yeah, no. Um, it's a big platform. Mm. You have to be ready. If there's something, I'm still I'm still working on my relationship with God, but I'm a Christian. Mm. And if there's something the Holy Spirit said to me before I got on YouTube, is he said that the ground that you're going on is very hard. Mm -hmm. And I have to prepare you. Mm -hmm. And I was like, prepare me for what? Mm -hmm. 
Mm. Like literally, I was yeah. like, God, you're not preparing me for anything. Mm. But he literally held me back. And then at the end, I came to see that, no, this ground is too hard. Mm. Like, when hate comes your way, you've got to be able to stand strong. Yeah. When you're going through things in your personal life, you've got to be able to stand, stand strong and give people what they want to see. Exactly. When so many weird things hit the fan, you've got to be able strong, to come yeah. through. And I'm so grateful that God held me back and the Holy Spirit prepared me. Mm. It's a big platform. Mm. It's not easy at all. When I was growing up, I was watching YouTube, like, oh, it's lit, like, cool. Obviously, I've got my own platform as well. It's like, right, it's not just filming, put up, you have to mm-hmm. edit, mm-hmm. assist it. Mm-hmm. It's, so I rate all those YouTubers that are doing great things. It's not easy. It's, it's not. Because what we see, we just watch the movies. Yeah. But what we don't see is the late nights. The late nights. The stress. Yeah. The, the video yeah. is the, the footage that's got lost. Yeah. It? It, that's mm-hmm. crazy. Mm-hmm. I remember, because I'm still a working person right now. Mm-hmm. So I would, I remember I would have, I have to wake up, my shift will start, start at 7.30 mm-hmm. in the morning. Mm-hmm. I have to get there for 7.30. And I would film until 5 o'clock in the morning. And I'll start at 2 in the evening, like in the afternoon. Yeah. And I'll film until 5 o'clock in the morning. Going in, going in. Because I'm like, I've got to make my videos. If no one does it, who will? You know what, guys? This is dedication. dedication. Take your notes. <laughs> Take your notes. Take your notes. Take your notes. Like, it's dedication. Yeah. So in terms of your YouTube video, what's your favorite video that you've actually uploaded? It's not one of the popular videos. Mm. I actually thought it will be. Mm. Um, it's the Morphe one. Okay. The pink, I think it's pink is my favorite color, in fact. Is it? Yeah. Mm. But it's the Morphe one. That's my favorite video. But I've got other videos coming She's out. Got so, so many videos. Make sure you follow her everywhere. Loves room. Yeah, loves room. I feel like my favorite video is coming to the is when you're using the black eyeshadow because black eyeshadow is not gay. Ooh, it's hard. That one, that one was hot. That one, I, really like I think even though when you go on it, the views, it's very like it's obviously I, I'm still growing, but everyone was just like the way you blended that out. Yeah. Oh, good. And my second favorite one is uh, when you're cooking, you gotta know how to cook, You gotta know how to cook. <laughs> yeah, you're doing so good. You always start in July. But in terms of like views and stuff, do you let that get to you? Because obviously you're still growing. Do you sometimes want to still like, okay, I want to get to one k, I want to get to. Do you look at your views and you sometimes get down? Or if you do, how do you lift yourself back up? Success don't happen overnight. Yeah, I'm not gonna wait. It could. Yeah, some yeah. some people they wake up, they got two million in their account. Mm. Honestly, some people they wake up, they blew. Got to see what you do for others. <laughs> <laughs> but but it's a process. It's, it's a process. process, and I never let the views get to me because I know where I'm gonna go with my YouTube. Mm. I know where my I know where I want to go, yeah. and I speak to God about it a lot mm. every single day. Yeah. I have so many I plan. I have so many plans and I just I don't let the views get to me. Cause I know that one day someone will see me. People will see me. Mm. Like one day I'm gonna get somewhere. So even yeah. though I just started yeah. I, I can it's twenty 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 just started as well. Exactly. So by the end of this year yeah. I could be in a million like, but like I could blow you know, in a second do you know what I mean so I never get, let the views get to me I never do mm. but I just know that when I do look at the views sometimes I'm human so when I do look at the views I'm just like you know what love you've got to keep pushing you're mm. going to get there keep pushing. just to go off what you just said um, you know darker mm-hmm. 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 last thing changed that was some change in life you, know, like, you see it's crazy but it's just like keep going mm-hmm. keep pushing keep yeah. pushing so remember why you started as well. Like, yeah, you know, you gotta remember. Never push it. Mm-hmm. Just to answer the interview, when I ask you one last question uh, about makeup, because we're really good at it. So, what are your like top tips when it comes to makeup? Girl? I'm just gonna write this down, girl. Your top tips. You know what? I'm gonna quickly tell a short story. So, when I was in my relationship, we I remember we went. I think we went to like an apartment party, right? Yeah. Now, but we ended up all sleeping there, mm-hmm. and. All the girls' makeup, because obviously you're sleeping, all the girls' makeup, they end, it ended up coming off. Yeah. And my makeup was the only one that stayed on. And wow. even after we left. Yeah, so right. And you know, this was three, four years ago. Mm. This is three, four years ago. 
But I remember the man was bigging up my guy at the time and saying, her makeup didn't come off. Her makeup didn't come off. Like, but they were looking at that because I was like, like, yeah. but the tips that I like to um, give is, it's about your skin mm -hmm. and what is, it's about the foundation in fact, not the foundation you actually put on, but oh, the your skin, like yeah. what you skin do beforehand, mm -hmm. skin care, your skin got to be nice, mm -hmm. your skin got to be good, mm -hmm. don't be piling on makeup knowing that you've had a breakout, I mean sometimes, I'm not going to lie, I come out because I have, I have, I've had no choice, mm -hmm. but just make sure you clean your skin and stuff. And what I do is I set my face. I use my primers. Primers really help as well. My mat, mat fine primers. We can, my we primers. can see. Can you like, zoom in? Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. But yeah, so you just gotta make sure your foundation is good and everything will be set. Well, it was lovely talking to you. Where can people find you? So my Instagram, my Instagram is Love's Room with three S's and my Snapchat is Love's Room, literally just Love's Room and my Twitter, it, I think it's, it'll be up on the screen, but yeah. Love's Room, I love just thought, <laughs> um, but yeah, to search up Love's Room, to purchase my eyelashes, to book for your makeup, that's Love's Beauty Room on Instagram. Okay, well it was really nice to meet you, good luck on your journey and all the best. Thank you. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you. Bye. Bye.